In this class, we are going to learn how to create our very first Oracle Cloud Fleet account that is for the individual or learning purpose. First and the foremost thing is you have to just make a quick Google search using this keyword OCI fee trial. So there will be this hyperlink with www.oracle.com, Oracle India Cloud. So depending on the location from where you are accessing this Oracle Cloud, the location will be changed. So I am accessing from India, I am seeing this Oracle India. Click on this link. So you will be navigated to the OCI homepage. There will be an option or a button with name start for free. We have to click on this start for free. So in this class, we are demonstrating how we can create an individual or a personal OCI account that is for learning or training purpose. First information we have to provide is related to the account. I will tell the country where I am from. I will tell India. And here I will provide the first name and the last name. You have to provide as per your account information or as per the payment information which you will be providing at the end. Coming to the email, we have to provide the email over here. I will provide my Gmail account. Then you have to check mark or confirm that you are a human. So based on the question, you have to select the appropriate images from the list over here. I will select and click on verify. So once you get the check mark, you have to click on this verify my email button. So our email confirmation has been sent to our mailbox. We have to verify within two minutes. I have received the email from OCA. I will click on this verify email. So it will open another tab. I will provide first of all the password. I will confirm the password. So here in the customer type, as we are creating for personal learning or training purpose, I will check mark this individual. Next here we have to give some meaningful name. So this is very important. This will be the unique identifier for your Oracle tenancy or the account. Coming to the home region, I will select any region in India. I will select Mumbai and I will check mark. So it is always a good practice to select the region from where you are from. Suppose you are from the US, you can select the US region. I'm from India, I'm selecting the Mumbai. So this is what we have to populate over here and click on continue. Next, this is the most important thing. So in the address information, you have to enter the appropriate address as it is mentioned in your credit card billing information. Suppose any letter is written in cap or in uppercase, that letter has to be written in uppercase. And if any letter is written in lowercase in your address, as mentioned in your credit card billing, then as per the billing address, you have to provide appropriate address over here. I will give the address over here, Mumbai Street 1. I will select the city as Mumbai, but you have to write exactly as it is mentioned in your statement that is in the credit card billing statement. Suppose if the street is written like this street in your billing address in the credit card, then you have to provide exactly similar like that. Suppose if you give something else like uppercase in a lowercase or street when you give first line and Mumbai in the second line, then your account won't be created and you will get an error message saying, error processing your sign up or creating the oracle account so i will do the state so this form will change based on the country what you are selecting for sign up so i will give some random postal address here i will give one phone number some dummy number i have given click on continue coming to the add payment information we have to click on this payment information Based on the location, you will get the verification method. From India, we are having only credit card verification method. Suppose in your country, if you are seeing debit card or any other way of verification method, you can select that. Click on this credit card. Scroll down and you have to check mark the appropriate card type. I will select Visa. Provide the details for the expiry of your card. Click on Finish. So this is going to deduct a nominal charge from your credit card like one and a half dollar. So that is for the verification purpose. And as soon as it is deducted, you will get a refund immediately from Oracle within a minute or two. Once your payment verification is shown as right, you have to check mark this agreement and you have to click on the start my free trial. 
So as soon as you click on this, your account will be created in couple of minutes, which you will be notified over email. Most important thing again I want to emphasize is the billing information on your credit card and the address information, what you enter over here in the form, it should exactly be matching any deviation from your address information or a mismatch even with one character then your account won't be created i will be clicking on the start my free trial account Once the sign up is completed, you will receive an email with the subject that is get started now with Oracle Cloud. You have to locate this email in your mailbox and if you just scroll down, the account information will be available. You can just click on the sign in and you can provide the account name and the password what you have provided while signing up for the Oracle Cloud account. Click on the sign in. It will automatically populate the username. Username will be your email ID. I will provide the password which I had entered while signing up for the free tier account. Click on sign in. So it will ask for the two factor authentication. You can just click on enable secure verification. You can make use of any of the authenticator app. I will be making use of the mobile app. Just select this and if you want to make use of Oracle's mobile authenticator app, you can download this from your respective app stores. Click on this offline mode. I will be making use of some other authenticator application over here. Once you have registered with the authenticator app, you will get the password that you have to enter it over here and click on verify. Click on done. So you will be signed into or logged into your Oracle Cloud account. So this is how you have to register for the free tier Oracle Cloud infrastructure account.